Super Dave here with another review. Super Dave here with another Silver Hawks review by Super 7 and today we're looking at Quicksilver. That's right, finally got the Super 7 Quicksilver that was in Wave 1 but we didn't get it until Wave after Wave 2 and there's the Silver Hawks logo, really glossy silvery package with that Silver Hawks logo on the front and then there is the figure inside. You know, the biggest elephant in the room with this figure has been the fact that it does not have very good, you know, metallic paint on it. Um, even it, it appears just from some of the other reviews I've seen, it looks like that even Wave 2 had better paint than this guy. But we'll see. We're going to break him open and check him out here in just a moment. But there is his animated look there on the back with that starry sky in the background looking really cool just check out those eyes again how they do and there is his bio if you'd like to pause and read that now you can all right let's go ahead and check out quick silver by super seven and of course we'll do the big comparison which is with the raymond toys version which i love that Quicksilver, but let's go ahead and check out this one by Super 7 now. And now it is time to take a look at Quicksilver and Tally Hawk. So let's first look at Quicksilver's accessories. And first of all, Quicksilver comes with a set of flying hands, open palm flying hands, as well as a set of horizontally hinged weapon holding hands. Also some grappling or gripping hands and he comes equipped with balled up fisted hands. All these are horizontally hinged, a flesh tone and then a mechanical silver type tone to him. He also comes with his interchangeable arms with the wings attached with the ability to shoot those razor beams. He also comes with his helmet head, a separate head sculpt as well as his regular head which shows his face he comes with two tally hawks he comes with the one perched with his wings folded in and his beak closed and he comes with one with his wings spread open and his beak open and that is his accessories so now let's take a look at quicksilver's articulation Moving Quicksilver a little closer in, I didn't mention this in accessories before, but he does have that communicator, compute, wrist computer that he had in the show, and it is a yellow painted with some red and black and white trim, so that is cool, and that is removable and will turn there, so that's part of the articulation also. Looking at his head first, he's going to be able to look up a very good amount. That's excellent. He's going to be able to look down a decent amount as well. He does get some head pivot, so that is excellent. That's better than some of them received, and of course left to right. So I'm pleased with his head articulation overall right off the bat here. He does get 360 and better than 90 degrees with that shoulder arm articulation and bicep swivel true bicep swivel single jointed elbow that doesn't even quite get 90 degrees but he does have that elbow swivel of course all of these are horizontally hinged and swivel at the wrist for both sides and again these are detachable so that you can pop in the other side and that only has bicep swivel does not have a hinge at the elbow but allows him to get flush with that wing. Now I will say that in hand, because these look awful on camera, that it just looks like a matte, like a unpainted matte gray base coat of an action figure that just was left that way. But there's actually a pearlescent, 
almost like a pearl shine to this guy and if you look really close there's even some sparkles in it like in the texturing and it is not coming through really on camera per se so even though you cannot see it on camera when you get it in hand you're gonna be able to see some and I'm trying to see if there's any angle but there are some uh, almost not quite glitter but like just that pearlescent almost glitter in worked into the paint so it it just take my word for it it does look better in person than it does on these a lot a lot of the camera shots that you see uh, online so that you know and you see how the blaster comes out of his shoulders just like we saw with steel wheel but you do see here that um, he has the ability to get that full wing part that goes flush with his side and can also be kind of tucked in like that so that is cool let's go ahead and look at the other head sculpt while we're here but you can see that he's able to look up about that much which is good for the flying poses he'll be able to look down with that head even better than with the other head that looks really good I like the look of this helmet he still gets head pivot and of course look side to side so you see the details on that helmet look really nice all the way back looking good looking cool and you can take like I said since that's removable you can pop that off the other arm and pop that onto the winged arms that do not have elbow hinge but just have the bicep swivel on the shoulder and of course hand uh, hinge and swivel as well so there you can see your silver hawk quicksilver flying and a flying pose with those blasters coming out of his shoulders <laughs> So they look really cool with his watch computer a wrist watch and all of his decked out look it's got a belt type thing here where the ones that were on wave two they did not have that detail but there's a metallic type paint there on that belt with a almost um, yeah it's just yellow it's not translucent it almost look translucent in the camera but it's not uh, just painted yellow there on his belt so that's pretty cool but moving on to the diaphragm it will swivel that's it I mean you can get side to side but uh, and I'll go ahead and remove this so you can see it will swivel side to side but you are not gonna get anything you're not gonna get any crunch forward no crunch back but it will go side to side and he will go side to side as well at the waist but no tilt or back bending with the waist either so he's not gonna get any crunching motion at all unless mine's stuck and I don't want to break it uh, we did get some with bluegrass didn't really get much at all with steel wheel and nothing with this one um, I was trying to see you can't even go you can't even tilt either with that diaphragm so the diaphragm joint is completely locked up and pointless in this particular uh, instance so um, there you have it moving on to the legs let's so swivel those out of the way he will still get full splits there with the legs he's gonna have thigh rotation just slightly there see the these this diaper piece or the pelvic piece there it's going to be uh, kind of crimping there but if you can get that underneath it and it's gonna scrape Man, you can't hardly get but that about that much up not cer certainly not all the way or 90 degrees he's gonna have a single jointed knee which gets pretty decent maybe just about 90 and has the swivel at the knee he's gonna have the ability to go full tip toes and then go up a good amount and of course has the rockers and this one they've gone back to the old school way of putting the peg hole in the front part of the foot which I don't like as good as when they put it in the back and this is really loose right there as you see on mine very very loose there on this piece not happy overall with the quality feel of these figures so far they just lack a little bit of the feeling of of a quality premium action figure for the price point uh, I feel like that my Marvel Legends to a certain degree and especially my Masterverse figures have a better feel quality of the plastic in some instances and in some parts but um, but overall I'm, I'm happy with his look I certainly would have rather had him 
to have had the silver uh, metallic paint on his outfit and uniform. I know what they were going for. They were going for the cartoon look here the way he looked in the animated series. But I do have the Raymond Toys Quicksilver, so that'll suffice for that. But, you know, as far as just fitting in with the line, this one has a bigger head, and we'll see that in comparisons, which we will do comparisons right now. The first comparison that we're gonna do is the birds, the tally hawk. You can see that this one has the ability to rotate his head and his beak is open and he has some ability to bend his legs both at the hip and at the knee so to speak or right up here at the top of the skinny part of the leg and so that is a little different than what we saw with the birds that came with steel wheel and bluegrass also it's interesting to note that with bluegrass and steel wheel you had big claws that were capable of clipping onto their arm these claws, as of what I was able to do, I could not get them to click, clip on to our Quicksilver. But, uh, you know, you may have better luck than I did, but I was unable to clip this one on there. But you can see how he looks there. And this is a soft, rubbery type material that is flexible so it won't break but uh, there's no articulation to the wings, just to the legs and the head back and forth. And we're pretty much dealing with the same thing with the perched wings folded version of our tally hawk. His head will swivel back and forth like so. His beak is closed and you could pop those heads off and interchange the two if you wanted to, but you have the ability to move the legs at the hips as well as at the skinny part of the knee and I've got a little putty up there so it would so I could perch him onto the stand uh, and you could probably do that on his arm too but I could not get these feet to attach to his arm and stay like I was able to with blue grass and steel wheels bird that came with them but anyway there is your tally hole so with the tacky, I was able to attach uh, Tally Hawk to his arm, you know, with the claws, but I used some of the sticky tack to do that with. So you can make it happen. And I have to say here, as much as I like the Super 7 figures, the Ultimates, the Raymond Toys Quicksilver with Tally Hawk, I mean, to me, is my favorite. This is still the best Quicksilver you can get on the market today. He is just awesome. I mean, Tally Hawk attaches to his arm with magnets. I mean, you can check out my review on this guy, but you can attach that Tally Hawk. Just look at that. This attaches with a magnet just like that. And his face plate, instead of it coming with two different heads, his face plate is magnetic. You can put his other, which is actually his flesh head there. Look how good that that face looks and the eyes you can attach that with a magnet and just snap it right on and then his face plate a helmet will uh do the same so oh man i don't know you know just look at that metallic paint that just makes all the difference in the world and also like the fact that his computerized wrist uh computer there is more of a gold uh, as well uh, more detail on this one and this one's definitely larger you can see that the Super 7 Ultimates is a, a bit taller and his head is much bigger which is in scale with steel wheel and bluegrass but still I love this Raymond Toys Quicksilver now the Tally Hawk is definitely more of a quality uh, look look and feel and I like that look a little bit more of to the cartoon look you know and and it's got more bulk and even detail in the paint apps and head sculpt and and such compared to this one this one's just it may be silver but it's lacking a lot of details just kind of looks like a plain you know silver painted bird very little detail put into him uh, so they definitely did a better job with tally hawk with the ultimates here but you can see what he looks like in that form and then in the other form. Now, even though I like the Raymond Toys articulation overall, I have to be fair and say that that's as far up as his head will go uh, on the one on the right, the Raymond Toys. But look how good 
that helmet goes up on the Ultimates by Super 7. So this one definitely has some perks to it. I like the wing system better on here where they just attach to the arms and the side whereas he also has the shorter wings so he can look like his arms are down some whereas you can do the same with this one just by folding it in as i showed you earlier but then this one also has the laser blasters that come out of his shoulders and they are detachable they just plug right into the little holes like we showed you with steel wheel but yes this guy is looking really good he's looking quality and nice and solid uh, in his uh, posing and form here uh, but still just because of some of the little perks that I enjoy I still would say I go with Raymond toys and the cool thing about it is both will work in scale with these other figures even though steel wheel and bluegrass's head is bigger than this one you can still make it work now I'll show you what I mean right now so you can see that the um, Quicksilver head even with the face the the head sculpt with the face the flesh face in there Certainly fits in better with like the steel wheel and even the bluegrass Of course, it does look like that helmet comes up a little bit too tall on this figure kind of especially when you look at this one But you can see especially alongside bluegrass who is smaller in frame and his face is a little smaller, too He still matches the Raymond toys Quicksilver still matches up good with the scale here uh, you would never be able to tell it until you put this guy in the mix then you can tell it But uh, I don't know, you know if you look at this group you can definitely tell they go well together I mean they fit together better uh, But then if you you know say just look at these two right here, then you could you could pass it off as well Maybe it's just the color of the paint, but it does look like that this guy's just a little bit more and even even uh, steel wheel as well a little bit more shiny and metallic looking than the, especially in the camera than Quicksilver when it comes to the Super 7 I, I almost like this color and this color being that they had more of the blue whereas Quicksilver had more of the silver look to have him in the metallic silver here if they had done this guy right here in that color and maybe adjusted this helmet a little bit better I would have said this I like him best but um, you know I like him but this is gonna be my Quicksilver here he is alongside of a couple of Marvel Legends if you want to see how he measures up beside them here is Quicksilver alongside a Ultimates Lion-O from Thundercats which they look really good together you can see that this is a similar line and then you have a Masterverse Battle Armor He-Man next to our Quicksilver and I believe that is new Eternia he man I just trimmed the skirt around his belt a little bit on there as you can tell but I love that Masterverse battle armor he man and I've got another one that I've painted uh, more of a metallic silver over top of that armor uh, you can check out other videos on that but that is a cool looking setup right there I think he goes well I mean he man is taller than Quicksilver but uh, Lino and Quicksilver go perfect alongside of each other this is kind of cousins shows there um, you know the whole Silver Hawks and Thundercats were kind of cousins and of course they were created by the same group Rankin Bass uh, back in the 80s but really cool and then finally here's some other spacemen you've got or ladies sorry Samus but you have Metroid Samus over here with also our and that's Figma with our SH Figure Arts Buzz Lightyear which I really love this figure and they're short compared to this guy they fit a little bit a little bit better in line with the uh, just for, for his head size with the Raymond toys Quicksilver but you know you can still make it work in some of your photos but I love these two action figures and stay tuned because I'm so excited I've got the pop marked Buzz Lightyear ultimate diecast Buzz Lightyear review coming very soon hopefully one of the next reviews coming up you're not gonna want to miss that it's gonna be a long one because there's so much to cover about him check out my review on uh, Buzz Lightyear and on Samus here if you'd like from the past but uh, awesome but that, that pop mark Buzz Lightyear oh man can't even speak enough about it but this looks so cool thank you so much for joining us for this review please like if you've enjoyed this subscribe if you've not done so it really means a lot and please comment if you have something to share I mean we take you there on a super day of review 
have some great sets and we love to set it up to make it look realistic for these guys as we review them and I hope that you enjoy that as well. Come back and see us. Here's some photos in the photo gallery.